Okay, so here we go. First question, NCT. Hey, I'm ready to buy some QSL cards. Any recommendations? I kind of want to put a custom logo on the front, stand it back. Thank you for doing this video. So over to you guys. What uh, what do you do for QSL cards? Um, I ordered mine and the ones for the Padawan station from just, I think it's cheapqsls.com or .net or something like that. I don't remember whether it's com or net, but it's cheap QSLs. They're pretty reasonable and pretty easy. Quick turnaround. I designed up my own and then ordered it from Vistaprint. Uh, that might have you might pay a little more from them, but um, you're able to kind of customize it however you want. And they they're really good quality. Uh, my wife is an artist and she's used them quite a bit for for her prints and things like that. So I just jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah, I uh, I have a friend at work who is a uh, graphic artist who did mine the art anyway, artwork. And then I sent it over to a, a website, uh, UX5UO, and uh, bought a thousand of them for a really reasonable price. And uh, that's because they came in thousands. So that was the, that's the least amount I could buy. But uh, that's what I did. And, and I think he also does designs for people too. So uh, I, was a, I was really pleased with that source, UX5UO. Uh, and five of those boxes on the shelves behind him are filled with <laughs> unsent QSO cards. So yeah. I do something different with mine. I I just go out and I take a picture of what's going on in, in life in that time frame. So like the last QSL card I sent out, I mean, it's winter time. So we had a pretty big snowfall. I took a picture out of the front window of the truck as I was driving through a field of unplowed snow. And that was my QSL card. And then before that, we had a, um, a snow melt. So it was springtime. And I had a great big, huge pond that had formed in my yard. So I stuck a canoe in the pond and had my wife take a picture of me and use that one. So <laughs> I just print them on my color laser printer and stick them in an envelope and send them out. So you'll always get something different from me for a while now. Yeah, I've, I've done kind of a similar thing. Um, I've got some standard ones that I printed up. Uh, I kind of Photoshopped a photo from, uh, from my, one of my activations a while back. Um, and made it just a black and white. Um, and that's kind of my standard one. But uh, one of the fun things that I like to do is have some cardstock on hand to print my own uh, custom ones for kind of special activations. So for example, when I took my micro pixie in the Altoid Smalls tin out to a summit and activated a soda summit with uh, less than two ounce radio, um, I took a picture of that radio next to the, the benchmark on the summit and made custom QSL cards for everybody that contacted me from that summit. So stuff like that's really fun to do too, to make some custom ones. Um, Chris, N1CLC has a pretty cool QSL card that's kind of a little bit cartoon style. I can't remember where he got it or who the artist was, but uh, if you look up N1CLC, November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, send him an email. I'm sure he'd be happy to tell you uh, who he had help him make that. I, I think the guy does it for a small fee and it's, it's probably well worth it. There's some awesome designs out there too, isn't there? You see, you get a QSL card in the mail and you go, how did you think up that QSL card? I, I actually, yeah. I'll, I'll find one that I, I'll, I'll get one in a minute. Um, keep talking guys, but I'll, sh I'll show you some of the QSL cards that I've received and some that I really shouldn't have received as well. <laughs> I still never really done one yet. I uh, I got a friend that's doing some artwork for me right now. I have to go searching. I'll I'll find it later. That's okay. But uh, yeah, I don't uh, I don't really have. Uh, uh, I, I had QSL cards from years ago. Oh, here we go. Adam's got yeah, some. Yeah, there's there's the N1 CLC card. Um, Ham Ninja. Ham Ninja, yep. But it's it's a pretty cool design. I mean, he's got uh, just a, a great uh, sort of cartoon style uh, picture on the front that looks a lot like him, and and it's just it's it's a neat photo. So that that's um that's one that I would suggest if you like the style, send Chris an email uh, n one clc at hamninja.com, and I'm sure he'll be happy to tell you where he got these. Yeah, the um, the other popular thing that we always seem to see is you always have your QSL card with your antennas on them, of course. So these are some of the the ones from Japan that I've received. 
Um, there's uh, there's also an EME one that I've received as well. And, of course, these are all international cards. But when it comes to Australians, this is what they put on the front of their QSL card. <laughs> so, is I that mean, your sister, Hayden? <laughs> I hope not. So, um, yeah, all sorts of different designs, and you can put whatever you want on front of the card within reason. So, um, But, uh, yeah, I... My uh, my QSL cards um, I uh, are, are a little bit old, so I think I need to update mine. So good question, thank you NCT. That's uh, that's really given us some good ideas. 